All right, guys, so taking a look at this play, man, as you can see, the play art there, cover two was showing cover four, what have you. And, you know, that's the defense I'm going against, and I'm playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, I get the touchdown here, and you would think I would be happy about this, but I'm going to go back and analyze the play. First and foremost, look at Eli Rogers right there. Look at that little fake he did. <laughs> it's funny how that played out, but he kind of faked, stopped, looked into the left, and then went out to the right. That was kind of crazy. I don't know if that was by design or what have you. But anyway, what I want you to pay attention to is right there, Gathers, number 26, and then also the uh, the middle linebacker there just sitting down. Still don't understand why they do that, man. These, these zones are, are just broken, in my opinion, as far as fundamentally the way they cover their technique, et cetera, et cetera. But why would Gathers do that? You know, let's look at the middle linebacker here again. You know, here's a guy that's running, you know, maybe he doesn't see you know, my receiver there break free. I get that. So I'm not going to put that much on him. I just don't like the flat feet. But look at the safety. I mean, in a cover two situation, I need him to, again, be the over top safety, be the over the top safety, but also recognize the situation. It's, you know, it's got to be situational here. The end zone, you have to protect that end zone. Why would you allow this guy to clearly run in your path for sight? You know, why would you do that? and run straight into the end zone. And then, you know, he's looking at the guy in the flat. That makes no sense to me. All right, now I know some people are gonna say, well, what about his ratings and all that? And you know, that's a conversation I get into with a lot of people. To me, I don't care how bad a player is in the NFL. There's specific techniques that they're supposed to do. You know, whether they use their technique or they use, you know, their knowledge to their advantage knowing where they're supposed to be on a given play but i'm going to show you the ratings all right so okay his man coverage is only a 62 his play rec is 80 which should be fairly decent you know if we're just going off of numbers and then his zone coverage is 75. now 75 is you know it's not great it's not ridiculously low but could we not agree that even if you're rated at 75 like an average player in that situation you should be able to recognize i can't let anybody get in the end zone freely now it's cool if i see this guy just not make the play i'm cool with that but what nfl player would just continue to drift and drift and drift into the end zone and watch a guy run right in their line of sight and not react to it at all that's the problem what i that i have man with the zone play in this game you know particularly deep zones they're broken you know, and I don't know if they're broken from the foundation or what have you, but they're broken, man. And this is something that desperately needs to be addressed. And again, you know, it's my job to report these things as I see them. Okay, so there you have it, man. I would love to hear you guys' comments and your thoughts. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, cut on your notifications, hit that like button, and let me know what you think. All right, until next time, peace.